Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be working on the 300 yet again. So, what we're gonna be doing today is, I ordered a grill for this car. Uh, as y'all know, I have a different bumper down there. That's a complete stock bumper. I believe it has the stock fog lights in it. Uh, if so, that'll make my life easier. Uh, that way we can get the hardware from them. But, anyway. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to be throwing in that new grill in here today. So I'm going to pull this down to the shop. Um, <laughs> actually, i got to wait for him. He's got shop keys. But I'm going to pull this down to the shop. Uh, we're going to take that old bumper, which is down here on our trailer. We're going to pull all the hardware for the grill out. So essentially, we're going to be swapping grills, but kind of not uh, because we're not taking anything out of this one. But anyway... I have a new grill. We're gonna be putting it in today. So I guess uh, I'm probably gonna take this thing up the road here, just to, just to kind of drive it. Uh, it's been sitting for a couple days since we last worked on it, but come out here, fire it right up, running good. So anyway, let's uh, let's get in here and we'll get to work. All right, guys. So we grabbed this bumper here that I bought for test fit. Um, this bumper is supposed to be perfect, but, uh, that's not necessarily perfect. But anyway, we're going to pull off, I know we're going to pull off these chrome pieces to put back on here. The hardware for the grill, this actually doesn't have fog lights. So we're going to have to find some screws for those and maybe the grills. I don't think I want to put the grills in my car here. So I kind of like the way it looks without them but we'll see and also we do need to paint this crash bar black so i might do that um and let it be drying while we go ahead and swap the grills uh these pieces here we'll swap those later uh the fog lights like i said we'll have to get some hardware for that but anyway i'm gonna pull this thing in here uh, here in a minute and uh We'll get this bumper off now since this car has been wrecked uh, it's going to be pretty easy to take the bumper off i have a self tapper holding it in here uh, that way uh, it'll kind of take its shape if uh, you missed the last video it's been sitting so it was kind of distorted a little bit so that's why i threw that there to hold it um, in hopes that it would relax and take back its normal shape but anyway like I said, we'll get this thing pulled in here, get this bumper off, should be pretty easy. And uh, we'll go ahead and get our new grill installed. Okay guys, so as far as removing your old grill, all you have after the bumper's off obviously, is a bunch of screws running around the perimeter of the grill. Uh, they're just Phillips. You can come in here, take a drill, pop these out and then you can go ahead and pop your grill out. All right, so now with all your screws removed, uh, you have these little clips, um, like you have two on each side. You can take a screwdriver and pop those out, or you should be able to just push them out like so, and then go ahead and remove your grill. Uh, we don't have to worry about that uh, because we're not swapping grills, we're just putting I just needed the screws for that bumper. So let's go ahead and pump, pop that bumper off and then we'll get to swapping over our new grill. All right, All right. so now we have the bumper off the car. Uh, you can see our slots where it clips in and then all of our screw holes. It uh, looks like some of the holes don't are not drilled. It's not a big deal. Uh, so we can go ahead and lift our bumper up. Go ahead, clip in the new grill and then start screwing everything in. All right, guys. So now we got all of our screws back in, all of our clips are back in. So now what we can go ahead and do is throw our bumper back on the car and we'll take a look at it. All right, y'all. So there it is. Um, we just set the bumper on here. It's not, I just got this screw in because there's no fender to clip it to. It's clipped in here. There's nothing here holding it so 
that's why this doesn't match up. It's kind of close to the hood. Um, but anyway, there it is. And one thing, the crash bar isn't as noticeable back there as I thought it would be. But I still think we're going to go ahead and paint it. Um, that way you don't notice it at all. So we have that other bumper over there. Uh, we still need to get uh, these pieces. Uh, I have fall guys over here. I'll show you those here in a minute. And like I said, I don't think we're going to throw these grills in. Because I like the way it looks without them. And I also have some black side markers. Uh, one thing I was thinking about doing, what me and him were just talking about, is painting this surround uh, body color, the brilliant black. And then probably just leave these. Just make this body color. That way everything matches and flows. Um, and then one thing about these grills is they don't come with an emblem. But anyway, there it is. So here in a bit, I'll probably pull it out here. I'll probably clip the bumper in and stuff. We'll take it out here and we'll take a look at it. Okay, guys, so one thing uh, we've been kind of messing with is some adjustments here. So this now lines up um, pretty well. It looks a little off from the eye, but on the edges here, it lines up. So that's nice. This lines up pretty nice. Nice gap on our headlights. So everything looks much better. Uh, it's not hitting the fender anymore. Uh, I think we need to pull the fender in just a little bit, uh, but it's not a big deal there. So I think uh, as far as our adjusting goes, I think that's pretty good. Uh, nice even gap, nice and flush here and here. Uh, and then same thing over here in our fenders, nice and flush there. So I reckon that's uh I still want I was gonna show y'all the markers and fog lights we got and then uh, I guess it'll probably be a wrap for today. Alright, so I have these fog lights here that uh we're gonna be installing at some point. Um so these are projector fog lights uh, to go with the projector headlights uh, and these have these little angel eyes in them uh, that we can probably wire to the running lights. But anyway, I think we'll probably try to wire these in to running lights. Uh, that way they come on automatically. And then the fog light itself, uh, like I said, I think I mentioned, we got to redo the harness for the front bumper uh, or I might try to find another one. I don't know. We'll just have to see. And then we need to get screws to go ahead and mount these uh, into the bumper itself. So I got these with well, these pigtails. That way we can cut this plug off. I believe that's for a Jeep. Uh, we can cut that plug off and wire in. So we have those. And then I have these black side markers that have already just kind of fit one in there. So everything should look uh pretty nice here on the front of the car um everything should be nice and cohesive so uh these are leds so hopefully uh we can get this stuff installed before too long and then um i believe after we work the door we should be ready for paint prep so anyway uh like i said i want to pull this car over here somewhere and i'll give you all i'll step back and give you a little bit better picture with the grill all right guys so here it is um now like i said we still gotta get stuff for the fog lights everything else but as far as the grill goes there it is so look at it i was hit the unlock button for the headlights but my key fob I guess it's about dead but <laughs> anyway i have a plan for all the chrome on the car i got an idea that i want to try um haven't talked about it because i'm not real sure exactly how it's going to work but anyway uh, there it is i like it i like that grill uh, especially for just being a cheap ebay grill 
Um, and if y'all are interested, I'll drop a link uh, to the post from uh, where I got this on the eBay store or whatever. It's not an affiliate link or nothing, but it's just where I bought this one from. So, anyway, guys, um, let me get down here. Yeah. Working on cleaning up around the shop. So, anyway, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you all have a great day.